Any project manager needs a go-to spreadsheet template they can use to manage the tasks and milestones of a bespoke project. In this video, we're going to highlight the features of our project plan template so you can systematize your project management. We will illustrate how to manage different projects and tasks and analyze them in different ways, such as how to use the Kanban board to keep track of the task's stages, the Gantt chart to track the timeline and duration of each task, or the triage matrix to categorize the importance, urgency, effort, and impact of any task in your project. We're also gonna cover the risk analysis layout which is used to assess the task's risk severity, unlikelihood, and tolerance. RASI chart to assign different roles to team members for each task. And lastly, the dashboard, which will give you an overview of your project's results and outcomes. Although this template can be used for corporate or small business or personal initiatives, we're going to use this with the hypothetical example of a house flip throughout the video so that we can give you concrete examples of how to use the template. To set up your project on our template, let's just imagine you have acquired a, a rundown property and you need to turn it into a profitable gem. Start giving the project a clear and concise name. For example, let's call it Elm Street Revival. Now you can organize every step needed to complete the project. Here is where the Subprojects tab comes into play. Subprojects ensure each segment gets dedicated resources and focus. For our Elm Street Revival, a subproject could be, for example, the room renovations. Enter the subproject name, briefly describe its goals, and then set an estimated budget to make sure you stay within it. The Subprojects tab also allows assigning different team members to each subproject and categorize them by position. We can list the milestones now that the basic sub-project information and team structure are ready. Milestones are critical events or stages within your project that mark significant progress. Each milestone can have multiple tasks, which will be covered later. In this example, the milestones could be the steps needed to renovate each room during the house flip, window treatments, flooring installations, and more. Now, enter the information needed and you'll be ready to organize and list the project's tasks. For our task management, as our Elm Street house stands, waiting and transforming from an old house to a new house, the task tab becomes our roadmap. It's the template's core where all information is entered to create the views for the other tabs, for example, the Kanban or the dashboard charts. Now we're going to cover task details. Imagine stepping into the house and envisioning the first task. Choose the subproject and the associated milestone in the tasks tab. Such categorizations help segment tasks into detailed actions. Then delegate the task by assigning a specific team member. Once a task is assigned, it can be used to outline the estimated costs that way you can make sure that the Elm Street project is profitable and doesn't drain resources unexpectedly. With the tasks now set in motion, you can define the task stage. Meanwhile, the priority field helps you determine which tasks require immediate attention. Additionally, the template allows monitoring the progression of each task. The progress field percentage offers a snapshot of how close or far you are from realizing your vision for each segment. Now, to view the task progress in a more intuitive layout, we have the Kanban board tab. Each card within the Kanban view displays information regarding the task, such as the task name, the team member assigned, the span from start to end date, the estimated cost and priority. This immediate access to task specifics ensures that at a glance you're well equipped with the necessary insights. This view also features filters that let you specify the tasks displayed based on the date, the project name, milestone, team member, and priority. Back to the tasks tab, we can now enter information regarding the task timeline 
within the period details section. Begin with the start date. This field represents the day you kick off a task. Then there is the due date, the deadline to avoid delays. And the completed date comes into play once the task is done. All these dates feed into the visualization tools like the Kanban, but specifically the Gantt chart. The Gantt chart provides a timeline to track task duration, overlaps, and completion. Together, those dates transform the tasks tab into a dynamic tool that ensures timely and successful project execution. This tab offers a high-level view of the significant checkpoints within a project, along with details of each task. You can use filters to track tasks and milestones by specific dates, projects, milestones, or even team members, similar to the Kanban board tab. Now, not all tasks hold the same value or importance. Some require immediate attention while others can wait. Here is where the triage field becomes essential in the tasks tab. The urgency field is related to the pressing nature of a task. It's possible to categorize tasks as urgent and not urgent. Also, the importance field is used to categorize tasks by not important and important. Now, do not mistake urgency for importance. Some tasks may not be urgent, but are crucial for the overall success and profitability of the project. Next, there is the impact field, which can be low or high. Categorizing such tasks helps foresee their broader implications in a domino effect. And lastly, there is the effort field, just as the impact field categorized as low or high. This categorization can be related to the time a task might consume or the resources needed to complete the task. These fields ensure that resources are allocated effectively and efficiently to maximize time and investment. As a result, they are directly related to the view built in the Triage tab. The Triage tab visualizes tasks in the Eisenhower matrix and a custom view that cross-references the impact against the effort. The Eisenhower matrix offers a view of tasks categorized based on urgency and importance to give a straightforward roadmap of your priorities. Meanwhile, the impact versus effort matrix aids in the strategic allocation of resources by highlighting tasks that are high in impact yet low in effort, or vice versa. The tasks auto-populate the matrices based on the data from the tasks tab and the filters applied. Filters like date, project, sub-project, milestone, and the team members that help define and refine those tasks. By default, each matrix accommodates up to 10 different tasks. Now, in case you need more room to incorporate additional tasks, do the following steps. Select the row headers where you want to add space within the matrix. Right-click on the highlighted row header. Select Insert from the drop-down menu. And follow these steps as often as needed to create the desired space in your triage matrix. The triage can help a lot when it comes to organizing priorities and resource allocation. Still, even the most well-laid plans aren't immune to challenges. That's where risk analysis steps in. The template helps categorize the likelihood and severity of a task or decision to assess and manage the risks. The likelihood field can be categorized by improbable, possible, and probable, while the severity field holds values like acceptable, tolerable, undesirable, and intolerable. The combination of both fields results in the risk rating key field. This metric comprehensively assesses the potential risk associated with each task or decision. This is customizable in the Fields tab. In the Risk Analysis section, you can select a rating key, like low, medium, high, or extreme, based on various combinations of likelihoods and severity. Now, back to the template. 
The risk rating key will be automatically assigned based on the likelihood and severity values defined. Those fields will become a matrix view in the risk analysis tab. The risk analysis tab gives a more nuanced understanding of the risks identified during the project planning. Here, a matrix view that cross-references risk values from the likelihood and severity fields is color-coded with the risk rating key defined in the fields tab. The tasks are automatically listed and each intersection point offers a specific risk profile that can be defined based on severity and likelihood assigned in the Tasks tab. This method allows you to create a dynamic risk assessment tool that evolves with the project. It also comes with the same filters from the previous tabs to make your analysis more specific. Look up the risk by date, project, subproject, milestone, and team member to plan effectively towards successful completion. So far, we have reviewed all the sections from the Tasks tab and showed how they can impact different views throughout the template. But we still have two more to go over, the RACI matrix and the dashboard. RACI stands for Responsible, Accountable, Consulted, and Informed. The RACI tab provides a framework to designate roles across tasks. To use this tab, select the subproject. Once selected, use the drop downs to select the milestones associated with this subproject. The drop down menus at the top are used to select which team members you wish to track. Since the subproject has been selected, the drop down will only display team members associated with the room renovation as defined in the Projects tab. Choose the tasks you aim to manage and for each selected task, allocate roles to your team members. This allocation determines who is responsible for what, creating a roadmap for every member's involvement during the project. By using the RACI tab, you establish clarity and ensure that every participant from stakeholders to executors understands the specific roles and the project scope. An overview of all parts is essential as a project is being executed or even when it's finished. And for that, the template has a dashboard. The dashboards tab serves as your panoramic window into the project, aggregating data from all previous tabs to the present in a comprehensive picture. Filters are also available to make the analysis more specific if needed. You can filter by subproject, milestone, team members, and priority. Those filters will influence all the sections and graphics below. In the project overview section, an aggregation of main project details can be found, such as a comparative analysis of set milestones versus those achieved, and the average duration of tasks. You'll not only know about the project's progression, but also have insights into pacing and potential areas of acceleration. Next, budgeting and financial planning take the forefront of the financial analysis section. It outlines the costs, segmented by milestones, individual team member contributions, and specific tasks. Such a structured view helps ensure that the project remains within the budget and, if not, pinpoints where the overspend is happening. Lastly, the risk analysis offers a predictive insight classifying tasks based on their likelihood to cause potential hitches and their severity. Managing a complex project like the Elm Street renovation goes beyond major milestones. It's about ensuring that every intricate detail aligns for a seamless execution. The project plan template we've created provides a structured approach to handle everything from task assignments and prioritization to risk assessments. It can be downloaded in Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets for a clearer perspective on your next projects. We value your feedback. Please share with us your experiences using the template and any other project management insights you may have and drop them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.